everyone, Stephen Whitesides with Greenbrier Music here playing the Greenbrier series, Crashes, 18 inch, and over here is the 20 inch. I'm playing a 21 inch Greenbrier ride cymbal, I hope you guys have heard of that because it is by far the most fun ride cymbal to play that we've ever encountered here. The 18 and 20 inch Crashes are based on the Artisan series, and then they have the sound control edge. What that means is there's a ring of hammering around the outer edge, and another one almost right on the edge, which caused the cymbal profile to slope outward and then get a little bit flatter towards the edge. It gives you a brighter, cleaner sounding crash. Now we also have two control rings. They're brown, they're unlathed, hammered rings that are near the inner part of the cymbal, which is buffed a little bit differently. The, the handmade construction on these is amazing. And with the white logos, the two brown rings, the white logos, and the outer control ring of the sound control look really cool. Check out the pictures of this. It also has a raw bell. Now what do control rings and a raw bell do? Well, they're going to control the bright attack and give it a slightly darker controlled sustain so that you don't end up with something more like a Sabian vault crash. The vault crash is great if what you want is bright all the way through. This crash has more body and texture. There's more to it, a lot more character. You get a bright start, a medium body, and a dark sustain. It's not too long, it's very controllable, hence the name Sound Control Crash. Uh, but these don't die off like, let's say, HHX Evolutions at a metal gig. These really punch and carry, they just don't ring out for too long, which makes them excellent for punching accents, which I'll do a little more of for fun in a second here with an outro. The Greenbrier Ride has a lot of the same principles, but what it does is it makes a fine third crash cymbal, a great low finishing note. It's a great blending ride cymbal with a good amount of controllable wash, it has a hammered raw bell, and the same principle. The sound control outer edge, but more extremely flanged at the end, like the effects crash from the Sabian Evolution series, with the two dark control rings to balance it so that stick definition's articulate, it's bright. The crash on that cymbal is fairly bright for such a large crash, but you get a nice, dark, textured, complex sustain. That sounds like a mouthful, doesn't it? They basically sound really good. So. Let's see how they sound with something uh, a little more artistically interesting on a drum set, because I like having fun just playing solos. Hopefully the things I've played before give you a good idea what these cymbals would sound like.